Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Elemental Storm here, and this is first 10 minutes of Rack and Ruin. Uh, this is a pretty t cool game. It's an indie game. Uh, it's all self-drawn, and it's um, uh, pretty decent to say the least. It's made by a company called LifeSpark. Uh, we were able to get a uh, an early copy, which was really cool. And so I wanted to kind of show it off and show the first 10 minutes of it, and uh, let you guys kind of decide from there. I've been streaming it as well on my uh, stream and stuff like that. A lot of people have been... It's, it's a very Zelda-style... Uh, Binding of Isaac game and stuff like that. Very, very cool. So uh, let's get into it, and here we go. Okay, so this is Rack and Ruin. As I said, it's kind of Zelda. Um, it's kind of a Zelda slash Binding of Isaac game. Uh, you got a top-down view. It's an action-adventure type style. Uh, we're just going to cut right through here real quick. Get my first spell. So what you do is you do get a lot of spells and stuff in this game. So here we go. As you can see, you can lock on right here with your left stick, uh, which your art, uh, your left two. That's left two, right? Am I losing my mind? No, that's left two. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes, you know. And then you've got magic and stuff, so you can kind of do things like this. There you go. It's got a lot of puzzles in the game too. Uh, one of the cool things I really like about this game too, it's got a lot of different items and everything. Um, and beyond that. One of the cool things about it is you can actually corrupt the land. So right now, you know, it looks all peaceful and it's all, oh, it's all pretty and blah, blah, blah and stuff. Yeah, but when you get to a certain point, you can go ahead and you can literally corrupt the land and stuff. And that's a lot of fun. It's got these slime guys and stuff. So as you can see here, it's got kind of definitely a very Binding of Isaac sense in terms of like, you kind of got your top down levels and stuff. Oh, by the way, this is Rack and he hates bunnies. So just give you a heads up on that. And these are souls that you collect, go figure. And with souls, you can upgrade, you can do all kinds of different things. So we're going to actually head over here, watch out for these guys. I think these are kind of like the, the tribal, like, keepers of the forest type deal and stuff. But we'll mess that world up. Now, the one cool thing I really like about this game, too, is the fact that you are literally playing a, uh, you're playing evil. Like, Rack is, like, as you can tell here and stuff, he's just this little demonic guy and stuff uh, who's all about destroying worlds and everything like that. The story behind it is basically that Rack, uh, there's this, there's this, like, this great destructor or destroyer or whatever, or this guy, basically, who is, he eats, like, he just nourishes on just corruption and suffering and everything like that and stuff. So he sends out all his little minions to basically corrupt and, and not destroy worlds, but kind of enslave them. And Rack is though, he is all about chaos and everything of the sun like that. So what Rack does is Rack goes to worlds and he just literally destroys them. So, and there's like nothing left. He leaves basically dust in his wake. But now he's got one last chance to basically corrupt this world that he's been sent to. And do this for his master and everything like that. And, but of course, you know, Rack has other things in mind, which is pretty much probably destroy the entire world. But hey, so and that's kind of where you kind of come into it. So you're just kind of sent here. Uh, you've been kind of just exiled to this place right now, and your job is to corrupt. So in doing that, you have to, you know, check out all. You have to kind of explore the world and learn the places that you can corrupt and things like that. And then uh, it does have a story behind it, which is kind of cool. Uh, the first boss is really cool. The first boss is a dragon. Uh, very awesome metal music that plays when you fight it too. I did it uh, over the weekend during stream and stuff like that, and uh, yeah, it was it was very cool to say the least. I I really enjoyed the metal music portion of it. I was just like, it's metal by fighting a dragon. How freaking awesome is that? Plus, not to mention I'm playing this little devil guy. I mean, this little demon guy basically. So yeah, this game screams metal in so many ways, and you guys know me. I'm a huge metalhead, so it's like, yeah, it's my kind of game. Now, for those of you who know uh, Trophy Hunter from Trophy Hunter's Gaming, he was actually uh, very cool about getting me a copy of this and stuff. And, uh, which I guess uh, this this might happen more often, which is going to be awesome. And if that's the case, that's going to be great, because I could bring you guys uh, first 10 minute videos, uh, you know, pretty much before a game is let loose. And you can check it out for yourself, or you can come to the stream and check it out, you know, etc, etc. And uh, then see what you think. And if you like it and stuff like that, you know, you find out what day it goes off. Now, this is for the PS4. I think Trophy said something about PC. I don't know for sure. Don't hold me to that. I do not know for sure. Now, this is how you corrupt. This is really cool. Once this little dude tells me how to do it. I've been doing a little voice for these guys, too. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, boy, we're going to go ahead and hold this, and then we're just going to put our souls in there. Now the world starts corrupting. 
like that art. That art style is really cool. So the, the hand, the hand painting stuff. I noticed that with a lot of indie games that the art styles are getting really, really good. Like if you look at like games like Don't Starve, and even Binding of Isaac and stuff like this, it's not like you know a lot of the games, a lot of indie games. Like a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, it's all 16-bit, it's all 8-bit, it's like back to that style. But in reality, it's really not. It's um, Oh yeah, you can get new, you can toggle weapons here with your uh, right to, and you can use weapons as you can see there, or you can use things with your with your O's and stuff like that. Now the interesting thing is whenever you corrupt the land, you get a lot more enemies to deal with, uh, because everything basically wants to just kill everything here. Um, and Iraq is real funny, too. he's got a great sense of humor when it comes down to it, just look at this real quick. Just when I thought the annoying part was over. <laughs> He's got the best. The writing in this game is uh, is fantastic. Definitely take your time and read this stuff because it is funny. I'm just kind of going through it quick so I can just keep the 10 minutes thing going here. But um, yeah, you could shop and you could buy stuff. You could sell things. So in uh, in all reality, I mean, so far I've really enjoyed this game. I am uh, probably about I don't even say near halfway. I've beaten one boss so far and I've started corrupting some other lands and stuff like that. Now you gotta be careful with this, this is kind of that classic uh, Binding of Isaac with the, if you step in the red blood, you, you take damage, so be careful with that. And these things multiply like crazy. Which I think in reality you're just supposed to kind of bypass them, which I'm not doing. <laughs> and I'm already hurting myself, which is always a bad thing too, on top of that. Yep, then we got these guys. Yep, oh, and I'm already dead. <laughs> so yeah, so there's some challenge to the game too. There's uh, two modes to the game. There is uh, your regular mode, uh, which seems to be pretty good so far. It hasn't been like, uh, you know, it, it's got a it's got a decent challenge to it, but it's not like to the point where like, oh my god, I can't beat it, or it's like you know too unfair or anything like that. So it, it's going to be a good one to go through. And then you get a hard mode. Uh, there is a platinum trophy for it too, for, for you platinum hunters out there who like your platinum games. This game will give you a platinum. Uh, so yeah, so I think it's going to be a pretty decent game overall. Like I said, I love the art style. I like the idea of being able to just go around the lands. Oh yeah, let's take a look at the world by the way too. Uh, this is the world itself. It's an open world game, so you can kind of just go wherever you want. Uh, some places I think will be a little harder than others, but... Uh, it's just the idea is each one of these things you want to do these right here You want to stay in this world so you want to go around the entire world and basically just corrupt the heck out of it uh, And it's kind of got that I don't want to say Metrovania. I yeah I guess you could say Metrovania type style where uh, I know when I beat the first boss I got a power that opened me up to a new part of the world So it's got that kind of setting where if you you know you have to go to specific places get certain things and then you can go to new new parts of the world I mean what game doesn't do that honestly uh, so you know, there is that style and everything like that, but it's pretty good. It's, uh, it's not bad. Then you have your inventory area here, which is really nice. Gives you a lot of uh, features and whatnot. So, I mean, for a, a small indie game, I mean, I don't know what the price is going to be, but in reality, it's I think it's pretty good. I think they did a good job. So, I would definitely say check it out. Um, and, yeah, if you have any questions, of course, as always, hit me in that comment section. You know, that's always a good way to... Give me an idea and stuff. Come by the stream too because the uh, stream is flourishing like crazy as always, which has been great. And uh, that's why we're getting also a lot of new subs in the YouTube, which is awesome because I have a lot of uh, viewers from the stream come over and ask me if I have a YouTube channel. So they've been coming over here. So thank you very much, guys, for all that. It's very important. Uh, very important. Very awesome. Uh, the more I keep growing, the more I can definitely take this to uh, a full time career situation. Oh yeah, this is cool. You get to fight like humans and knights and everything like that and stuff. Now this is where it kind of you can feel that Zelda sense right there with like the the charging enemies and stuff like that. And I'm just doing terrible. Why do you do that when I'm in the middle of a fight? You stop that now. But um, yeah, so this is um, this is Rack and Ruin. And like I said, it's for the PS4. I think the PC again. Don't hold me to that. I do not know for sure. Uh, but this is Rack and Ruin. I definitely advise it. Come check it out. It's a really cool game. Uh, it's got a lot of exploration, a lot of puzzles, uh, a lot of items, things like that. Some metal in the boss fights. Can't go wrong with some metal in the boss fights. And uh, yeah, so beyond that, uh, I am Elemental Storm. I'm going to kill some bunnies to finish off here. And uh, <laughs> again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It always helps out the channel. Come by the stream, www.twitch.tv 
backslash elemental storm 23 come check it out we've been doing bloodborne uh we got a new theme day actually i think you guys might be really interested in uh called bloody soul sunday it's everything any game that has to do in a soul style so we're looking at like titan souls bloodborne uh dark souls 2 which i'll be picking up next week ah freaking bunny so i'm gonna be eaten by a bunny before we leave oh yep it's just a harmless little rabbit but, uh, yeah, so that's Rack and Ruin. Like I said, come on by. Come check it out. I'm going to be streaming. Uh, for Actually, t I'll be streaming it Tuesday night. And I'll be streaming it probably off and on. And, uh, yeah, and then come by for the Sunday show and everything like that and stuff. I'll talk to you guys later. Huzzah! Thank you so much. I'm glad to be back. I'm finally beating this cold. So as you can still hear in my voice a little bit. But it's good to be back. And it's good to be doing videos again. I missed you guys. All right. I'll talk to you soon.